What's cracking with you, YouTube? It's your man, the King. Back with another video for y'all. Let's get right into the shit. Now, while the world is being distracted by the Mueller report, <laughs> he trying to save Trump ass. He willing to go to jail, <laughs> go to jail before Trump, which I think is crazy. The Los Angeles Lakers are working out a contract with Tyron Lu, ex head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers and ex player of the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, if you remember, Ty Lue won two championships with the Lakers back in the damn day with Kobe Bryant. And now it seems like LeBron has an ally um, on his side that the, that, that the Lakers are bringing him since he hasn't spoken to Jeannie Buss, nor Magic Johnson, nor Rob Palenka. Um, no, I think he's talking to Rob Palenka. I think LeBron is talking to Rob Palenka. If I'm not mistaken, I think he is talking to Rob, but I don't think he's spoken to Jeannie Buss um, for crying for crying out loud. <laughs> Shit, the, the way Jeannie Buss found out LeBron was coming to the Lakers was through a text message. They didn't even call it. But let's talk about Tyron Lue and Monty Williams. Monty Williams decided not to take the head coaching job of the Lakers and he wanted to go over there with the uh, Phoenix Suns. Um, some people say, some people are going to look at that as like, see, he don't want to coach LeBron. No. Monty Williams wanted to take it easy. Right now, the Lakers got a lot going on and it's too much noise right now with the Lakers that's just a little too high for Monty Williams, uh, his taste. You know, he want to go to an organization where it's going to be quiet, and he went to a team that's the sorriest team in the Western Conference, which is which is comfortable for him because the expect the expectations are not high. You know, the the Lakers want to win championships, and you know some people can't handle the pressure of dealing with that, but Ty Tyron Lue can handle the pressures of dealing with that. He's dealt with that with Cleveland. You know, LeBron James. You know, and his whole uh, I Promise uh, campaign that he had with the Cleveland Cavaliers before he opened up the I Promise school. You know, he promised Cleveland he would bring them a championship, and Tyron Lue was was around there, around it was around around LeBron the time they won it. Um, you know, uh, let's not forget that David Blatt um, got fired. He was the head coach before Tyron Lue got the before Ty Lue got the uh, the job. Um, took over and the rest is history but I would rather have Ty Lue as the head coach because he's going to be able to put LeBron's ego in check and not only that he's going to be able to uh, mentor the young guys he's going to be able to mentor the young guys you know um, he's going to have some similar experiences to how they to how they come up, they're coming up in the league just like how he came up in the league, you know, coming off the bench, you know, <laughs> trying trying to solidify his role and, you know, just making the best of his opportunities whenever he got a chance to play. You know, but everybody remember Ty Lue for the whole infamous Allen Iverson three and he stepped over him and, you know, that's what people remember Ty Lue from. You know, but now people remember Ty Lue for, you know, bringing the championship to, to Cleveland with LeBron James. Um, I like it better than having Monty Williams. You know, I don't want no no coach that's going to be scared and pussyfooting around with LeBron James and being punked and, and told what to do and, you know, not not getting no respect. You know what I'm saying? That's I think that's what LeBron James was going to do to Monty Williams. I think he was just going to totally disrespect his ass. <laughs> You know, like he was doing Luke Walton, not being engaged in a huddle. You know what I'm saying? Not listening to uh, Luke. I'd rather have Ty Lue, somebody that LeBron could sit down and talk to, somebody that's going to be on the same the same page as LeBron. You know, LeBron ain't going to have to say much to the young guys because Ty Lue is going to take on that load of dealing with that, that situation. Um, and we still got, you know, we still got, uh, 
free agency to deal with. And however that works out, hopefully Ty Lu can be one of the guys that can bring guy, you know, can be, you know, he cool. Maybe he cool with some of these big time uh, free agents, free agents that's coming out this summer. Maybe some people like that. Oh, oh shit. Ty Lu with LeBron. Oh, I know he ain't going, I know he ain't going to be uh, putting up with LeBron shit this time, this, uh, this next coaching, you know, second time around with these two. So I don't know the details of the contract that the Lakers are trying to conjure up to give him. It might be a four year deal. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's going to have some type of stipulation to fire his ass if, you know, things don't go accordingly to how Genie Buss wants things to go. Um, we still don't have a damn president. Um, but I like the fact that we're working on getting a coach. We, we're trying to um, let the ink dry with, with Ty Lue so we could, you know, have a coach. Um, I don't know any candidates. I mean, well, I'm hearing one candidate is interested in the Lakers president uh, position. But right now his team is in the playoffs. And that might be the guy from Toronto. It might be Ujiri. Ujiri. He might be the one. He might be the one that, that want to come over and uh, play with a superstar like LeBron just in case we get Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? That, that'll look good. For, that'll look good for him on the resume. You know what I'm saying? I would, If Kawhi Leonard decide to come to the Lakers, why not bring you Jerry over here? He'd be with, with, with Kawhi and LeBron. I'm already hearing Kawhi's manager, which is his uncle, is the one that really wants him to come play for the Lakers. So let's not forget he did buy that big ass house in a uh, big multi-million dollar house in San Diego. So all we know right now is, is Kawhi wants to come to LA. We just don't know which team, the team with a legacy or a team with a bullshit fan base for nothing. Um, so with that being said, man, Y'all, I'm just breaking. I'm just breaking down why, you know, Monty Williams is not a good look to be dealing with LeBron James and uh, and um, I forget LeBron's uh, oh Rich Paul. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Monty Williams could deal with that. Plus, you know, so much media criticism that the Lakers get anyway. You know. Once the Lakers start playing bad basketball, which we have been playing for like the last damn six years, um, you know, Monty Williams won't be able to handle that pressure. But a guy like like Ty Lue, he can, he can handle that kind of pressure. It won't get to him. So remember to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification button. And um, oh, Rose, if you see this video, Rose, I am so sorry that I didn't meet up with you when I was supposed to yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I drove to L.A., but then I was like, man, L.A. looked like shit. So I turned around and, and went back to uh, to the O.C. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'll check y'all later, man. I'm out.